Good morning, Facebook family and friends and YouTube subscribers. Today it is Monday, February the 8th, 2016. So last week we were all shocked um, when a young man went to his baby mother, baby mama's house and shot and killed her. He went and shot and killed the mother of his child and shot the two-year-old child killing her also. So, let me read, just read, many of you might know, not have known. A Maryland man was arrested and charged with the murder of his two-year-old daughter and her mother after he was ordered to pay $600 in monthly child support payments. Um, Darren Boswell Johnson, 25 years of age, was charged in the deaths of Nashante Davis, 26 years of age, an elementary school teacher, and their two-year-old daughter, Slo Davis Green, on Wednesday. So the last Wednesday, he went, and last Tuesday, the shooting occurred, occurred early Tuesday morning when Davis was leaving her Fort Washington town home to take Slo to take care and head to work at Brad, Bradbury Heights Elementary School in Capitol Heights. Boswell Johnson waited for Davis to leave her home. He wait, stood outside waiting for her to come outside. And then he did approach her at gunpoint. After the demanding, she dropped the petition that he pay her $600 a month in child support. He then shot the mother multiple times before walking to the car where Slow was sitting in the car seat uh, and opening fire and shooting and killing the two-year-old girl. Davis was pronounced, Davis was, Nishante Davis was pronounced dead at the scene and Slow, Slow was uh pronounced dead at a local hospital. Prince George County Interim Police Chief Howard Stolowski said Boswell Johnson confessed to the crime during question. So he confessed to killing this woman. Um, this is a gruesome crime. And the people are involved are so young. I mean, he was only 25 years of age. The Let me just state this. I think people, when you're younger, you do stupid stuff. And unfortunately, this man did something very, 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 very insane and stupid. Angry with this woman about them, about the state of Maryland, about to, to take $600 out his paychecks to them. I think they had took half the payment out in January. Um, he did something stupid. He's going to pay for this for the rest of his life. He killed his own child. Killed the mother of his child. How could you shoot your own two-year-old two -year daughter? Which means that he must have not had any feelings towards this young, this little baby. He must never, ever have had any contact with her at all. I mean, I just find it's just very odd for this young man to go over there and do something like that in, out of anger. Angry because he, they're taking $600 out of his paycheck to put towards child support for this child. Now, on his Facebook page, he has other children and it looks like a, I don't know if it's a girlfriend or wife, I'm not too sure. I mean, I've been trying to get more details about his own personal life. And of course, you can't really find anything because a lot of people are still in such shock. It may take a few more weeks before we know exactly what his situation was, why he felt he had to kill this woman and that baby over $600 a month. This is insane. He did this out of anger. And I think sometimes when we act out of anger, we don't sit and think about the consequences of our actions. This man clearly wasn't thinking about the consequences of his actions when he picked up that gun and went over there that morning. I can imagine he might have been drinking all night long, just furious. Went over there angry, not thinking. Instead of going someplace to cool, just really sit down because I, because if, if he had been thinking clearly, he would not have went over there and shot and killed that woman and, that, and, and his child because now who's going to take care of his other children? Because he's going to be in jail for the rest of his damn life. Because if I understand, Maryland doesn't have a death penalty 
in that state. And this would be a death penalty case if if, if he was, if, if, if Maryland had the death penalty. Had he done this in Georgia, they would, they would definitely have put him, uh, it would have, I'm pretty sure it would become a death penalty case unless he, but he did admit to the crime. This was not the answer to this question. Now, we can, I'm going to go into the, the, my opinions about these women and men who have these children outside of marriage. Uh, I, I've never understood why so many African Americans make this decision, make the choice to have children with another mate, um, man or woman, that they're not married to, that they're not responsible to the child. This man clearly was the father of this baby. They went to court, DNA testing proved that he was the father of this child. <laughs> This woman had this baby by this man. We don't know the circumstances of what took place between the two of them, but we do know that he had sex. We don't know if they were just randomly fucking, uh, having a relationship. But clearly, although they, we know they did have some, they had sex, he did not want a child by this woman. Nor did he want to take care of the responsibilities that came with taking care of this child. And he most definitely didn't want to pay that $600 a month. So $600 a month may seem like a small amount of money to the average person, but that could have been half his paycheck. We don't know. Uh, it could be a great deal of money that's coming from, and, and, by, and, and I am by no means siding with him on this situation because that man should not have done it. I don't care if it was $16,000 a month. He should, not have picked, he should not have picked up a gun and went over there and shot and killed that woman and his own child. This is insane. This was not the way this should have been handled. But when will black folks wake up and stop having children outside of wedlock? That woman had that baby by this man. This happens every day in our community. These women have children, thousands of children are being born right as we speak to women. When black women are having thousands of children, it may not, they're not married to these men. These men, many of these men don't want anything to do with these children. They don't even want these kids. But that doesn't stop these women from having these children. Now, of course, we all go into, they need to use condoms, they need to use birth control, but well, black women have got to start. Because see, black women are the ones being stuck with these kids. They're being stuck having to raise these kids alone, without a husband or a partner. $600 a month ain't a lot of money, in my opinion to help raise a child for the next 18 years. I don't know how much more money he would have had to spend. Maybe, I don't know. I don't have any children, so I don't have to worry about no child support payments. And I'm not planning on having any children. Thank God I'm gay. We don't have to worry about that after we have sex. We got other issues to worry about. But I don't have to worry, I don't have any children. I'm a, I, don't have a, I'm, I don't have a bill for child support payment being taken out of my paycheck. So I don't know what it feels like. But I know it's got to be very difficult to these women to raise these children alone without any help. Because even if, even, if, even if he paid the $600 a month, this woman still has to raise this, would have, would have been raising this child alone with no help or support from him because he's, he probably never ever spent any time with that baby. So I find it's just sad. All the whole story is sad. The whole situation. The mother having a child by herself. The father coming, having to take him to court to find out that he was a father to get DNA testing to prove he was a father and then demanding child support payment. It's the state taking $600 out of his check and then him getting angry about this and going to shoot and kill her and the child. It's just evil. It's just, it's hard to, when this happened last week, I had to sit down and just, in, in shock, I was like, this can't be true. Am I really understanding this correct? And somebody said, well, someone else did this in New York a few weeks ago, a few months ago. You would go and, and shoot and kill the mother because you don't want to pay child support. So you're going to sit in prison. Because I'm trying to, uh, all I can say is this man had to have done this out of anger. It wasn't thinking properly. Because you're going to spend the rest of your life in jail, in prison. For the murder of these two people, you've been better off just paying the six hundred dollars a month. But, but, you, but now you're going to be away from your other kids. They're going to be growing up alone without a father. 
because you're in jail. You can't provide. This just isn't. This isn't making sense to me. In fact, I would have preferred him if he didn't want to pay the six hundred dollars a month. Then he should have went back to court and took custody of his daughter and took her home with him and raised her himself. Since he didn't want to pay the six hundred dollars per month. These guys have got to start thinking before they insert their penis into these women. Clearly, he must not have used a condom. They said, I don't, I, I, we don't know. We went there when they were having sex. She could have lied and said she was on birth control. He could have used a condom. The condom could have broke. All kinds of things could have happened that this woman ended up pregnant. We don't know. She could have been on birth control and still ended up pregnant. I hear that happen sometimes. I don't know. But we do know he went and shot and killed those two innocent people, the mother and the daughter, because he didn't want to pay $600 a month. That we do know. I have a car note that's $600 a month. That's cheap. I think I'd rather pay that $600 a month to take care of that child before I go sit in jail for the rest of my damn life. I don't care if it was $600 a month or $10,000 a month. I would have paid it what I could pay versus going to prison. Now you can't do nothing. You sitting up, this doesn't make sense to me. This is insane and this is crazy. That man was insane. And he must have clearly had some mental issues in his mind. Had to have. Either something was very wrong with him mentally. Or he just was intoxicated or drunk or high on drugs when he went over and did this. I looked at his Facebook page and he had a job. He had what looked like pictures of his daughter and I mean, other children and the children that he that he's taking care of. <sighs> but black women have got to stop this. Black women have got to stop having children by men they're not married to. If that man does not want to be responsible for you and that child, and he's not willing to walk you down an aisle and marry you, do not have his children. This woman should never have had that baby by this man. And I'm quite sure he may, may at some point they made it clear to her he did not want to have this child. But she decided to have this child any damn way. And then decided to take him to court and force him to pay for this child. And this didn't work out very good for either one of them. And I just think it's sad. It's a crazy world we live in. Because it made no sense for that man to go over there and do to kill that woman and that baby over six hundred dollars a month in child support payments. This is insane. I mean, it's it's, 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 it's it's insanity. It just it's evil. And he's going to. And I, I, if he, <laughs> I kind of wish he was in a death penalty state because he deserved to be put to death for what he did. The decision he made to kill them. If that was a child. If that was a death penalty state, he should be. This should be a death penalty case because he should be put to death for what decision he made to kill those two, especially a two-year-old daughter. Either one of them. I just don't. It doesn't make sense to me. Now he gets to spend the rest of his life in prison. But I mean, he didn't give. He was a judge and jury and executioner that day. So, so I, I, I definitely feel he should be put to death if he was in Maryland was a death penalty state. I support the death penalty, especially in cases like this where it makes no sense. This is insane and crazy. And it's sad to me. It's an indictment of our community. And what, and what's going on out there? $600 a month is not a lot of money to pay in child support payment, not nearly enough to, to raise a child that you know that you had. Do you not know how children, did he not know how children are brought into this world through sex? And if you don't want to have children, then you need to do one of two things. Wear a condom or go get your, get snipped or whatever they call it these days where you will not be able to have children. But he was young. He was only 25. Which means he was 23 when he impregnated that woman. He had no, didn't know any better. But now he's in prison. She's dead. The child is dead. I don't know what the outcome of this would be. However, anyway, I just find it very sad. Uh, if you like my videos, please click like, share them with family members. I would love to hear you guys' opinions about this. Um, we all know that he was dead wrong for going to kill that woman.
having that baby. That should not ever have been done over you know, $600 a month or $16,000 a month. It should never have happened under any circumstances. Anyway, if you like my videos, click like, share them with family members and friends. And I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions about um, how we can stop senseless stuff like this from happening. What could have been done to keep this from happening, if anything? I'm just curious to know what you guys think. I'm out. Bye. Enjoy your Monday.